Hey guys, welcome to Frank's Tech Help. So today we're going to be talking about the best export settings coming from Final Cut Express in order to get prepared to upload videos to YouTube. And I've had quite a few questions that I normally answer just, you know, typing a message to respond. So I've gotten a lot lately and a couple of other questions for uh, from Jane Michelle TV. So hopefully I'll be able to give you a couple of solutions here in this video as well. So let's jump in. Um, as far as my export settings, and I can't say that these are the absolute best, but this is what I use and it produces pretty good results. So, um, let's say you got your project done and you're ready to export. You want to come up to File and you want to come down to Export. Choose Using QuickTime Conversion. Alright, so once you've got your save window ready to go, you can go ahead and name your sequence. Come down to Options and click on Settings. Now I choose MPEG-4 video out of this list of potential choices there. Choose MPEG-4 video. I choose automatic for my keyframes and I put my quality to high. So from there, choose OK. And then I want to come back up here to size and select 1280 by 720 D or HD, sorry. I do not choose to preserve the aspect ratio. So um, Jane Michelle TV, this might be a solution to your bars issue. Um, I do choose to de-interlace de the source of video. Sorry, I'm jumping ahead of myself. Choose OK. And then for sound, you want to se select settings. And I normally choose mono because it's YouTube and my videos aren't, they're not critical to have mono. It just saves some processing time. So from there, choose OK. And I choose OK again, and it's ready to be saved. So you can click on the Save button and render your project onto your desktop there. All right. Now, the issue comes up sometimes that uh, when you get your video finished, that the size of the video might be uh, too large as far as uploading and stuff. Like, for instance, this one's 140 megs, so that's not that bad. But sometimes my projects will end up being four, five, six, seven hundred 700 megs. And for that, I use a program called Video Vangelis. And so if you just go jump over to Google here and type in Video Vangelis, you'll be able to download that for free. Now this is great software for converting videos. If you're bringing in external sources into Final Cut Express, you can use Video Vangelis to um, convert the videos. And for Jane Michelle, this might be another solution as far as your flip video and stuff and importing videos without having to render on the timeline. Um, Let's say you bring in a video and you've got it on your desktop, you can dump it in to Video Vangelis. Um, so this will apply for this um, one instance. Actually, first let me, sorry, let me interrupt here. First let me show you the process for downgrading the size of the videos, and then I'll do the DV solution for you. So let me jump back over here real quick. So um, if you have a file that's too big, it's you know five, six, seven, eight hundred megs, then you'll want to dump it in. So just drag and drop over here into the video Vangelis window there. And for the settings, I usually choose my quality between good and best right there. I actually go just a little bit above high on that. And then for save to, I usually go to my desktop and save it directly to the desktop so I can find it easily and then review it once it's done. Now on the drop uh, the menu here you want to select MPEG for your output. Now for Jane Michelle if you want to do your flip videos um, I suggested you do them in, back into DV format so if you dump your flip video into here you'd select DV from here let it process that and then put it back into Final Cut Express and you shouldn't have to worry about rendering every few minutes on your flip video so but uh, otherwise for this process you want to select MPEG and then on the little side settings window here I don't know, oh, I've got my spaces set up differently. Sorry, let me drag this down real quick. All right, so for this, I choose frame size, and then I set 1280 by 720, and I choose aspect ratio 16 by 9. Once that's set, you can close that little window, click the start button, and it's going to dump the file to your desktop, and it's going to go from six or 700 megs um, back down into a more manageable size uh, should be below 200 megabytes maybe 150 to 180 or something like that and then it makes it a lot easier to upload everything to YouTube so um, also for Jane Michelle hopefully the perspective aspect ratio will clear your bars out of your final uh, export for Final Cut Express and for your flip videos do that with the uh, video Vangelis what I was talking about 
um, just to just select the encode to DV and then you can re-import that video back into Final Cut Express and hopefully that'll help you with uh, the rendering situation. So, all right, there you have it once again from Frank's Tech Help. I uh, hope this video helped you out. If it did, please post a comment. If not, oh well, thanks for watching. Frank's Tech Help. Peace.